But honestly, like Hungry Box himself said and Toussaint, they've been talking about the back throw and the forward throw. Like they're really hard to DI so they can collect into a tipper just like yeah. that one, but so we'll see how uh, the sort of forward throw pivot tipper is utilized in this match. Yeah. If, uh, Pisces, again, already looking for these. And and it's not just, uh, like, forward throw pivot tipper is one of the great options, but there's so many other things you can do. You can do, like, wave dash in uh, F smash as well, which is a slightly different DI mix-up. You can do, um, like, uh, pivot down smash setups yep. as well, pivot F tilt and up tilt setups as well. You have so many options here that are all going to be mixing up DI on this buff, not and giving her a lot of... Uh, you know, free uh, escapes. Yeah. That she's and we see to. most of uh, Damon's damage right now has been from up smash. I don't think he wanted that uh, rest. I don't know if it was a read or just a miss input. He might have been thinking he was going for down B up tilt yeah. and then trying to clip him out of it using the invincibility or something maybe. Okay, but so wow. does try to crouch cancel uh, rest that. I sort of respect uh, that. Just wouldn't be expected, especially after missing the rest early. But he does get the, uh, Pisces does get a shield out early. So yeah, Pisces is moving here. Yeah, honestly, like Pisces. He's not even getting tippers, but his F smashes are just taking him so far. Like, he's getting him off stage, getting good damage. Like, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, one thing I'm really impressed by out of Pisces so far in this game is his use of back air, actually, because a lot of the time, Marth, he tends to have struggles covering the space behind him, but the Pisces has had very creative Great use of smash. back air, like falling and sweeping behind him. It's caught uh, a couple times on the platform as well. We can... Okay, air dodging to top platform here, finding his way around, eventually finds his way back to the center. So Dayman, he should be looking to get his first stock here. Nair does outspace the back air. Wasn't fully out yet, but uh, he has Martha at a really juicy percent. Just one back air into an edge guard should do it. Oh, and the DI was correct there. Got the right read. Getting just outside of that F smash range, but yeah, looking like side B up tilt is what Pisces is looking for here. He is just playing this very smart, not going for anything over committal. Yeah, I love his patience too, just dash dancing right out of the range, getting side Bs, so he's definitely not getting too antsy here. Yeah, finding a Nair here. Yeah, Pisces just playing this super, super smart, super patient. And another F smash will do it, not even a tipper, just well spaced, wave dash back. So hopefully Damon should, I think Damon just needs to hold shield a little more, like Pisces hasn't been getting too many grabs in neutral, he sort of sets up. But yeah, Dayman seeming like he's playing a little bit too impatient. We saw the two rests that uh, both failed so far. And he just needs to, I think, look for better opportunities. <laughs> and we see there, that's what I was talking about. The, yeah. the pound just being a, a massive move that just traded with F Smash. Yeah, I like how Dayman, he's doing a lot of crouching, but it looks like Pou uh, Pisces isn't really falling for it too much. So clean three star from Pisces, actually. Yeah, really good. Yeah, I like that Pisces wasn't really going for too many grabs there. Like, he was finding them, but he was more going for setups into them, not just trying to raw grab uh, Puff when she's on the ground. Going for a lot of, um, like, forward airs, nares. Just trying to pop uh, Puff up and then kind of keep her above, which is generally Marth's best position, Yeah, which is uh, being below characters, especially a character like Puff, who her down air is all right, but not really going to beat out, you know, a Marth up air, a Marth fair. Yeah, so we can assume Dreamland was banned, and honestly, even though it's not the best stage, uh, that one's the next best pick for uh, Puff. But to be honest, with Pisces' F Smash game, I feel like Damon really needs to avoid, like, standing on the side platforms and stuff, just because he can get yeah. hit right through. But he's looking a lot cleaner this time, like spacing out a bit more, a lot more crouching and uh, baiting out jumps out of shield. So yeah, one thing we haven't seen at all out of uh, a Pisces yet is an up B, though. and now we have a good platform height here above him. So yeah, that's true. Potentially see um, if Dayman gets two in his face, that being an option. That grab was so clutch. That ledge, he was about to explode. Ooh. And there we see the wave dash forward after the forward throw F smash. Yeah, so honestly, Damon, I don't think he expected the F smash there. He he did get the DIO, yep. but then he sort of weaned back in after, so. Okay, so wow, great stock so far. He's getting some tech chases, getting a lot of down air spikes. Ooh, but the back air here can be massive. He's burned his jump, burned the major stall, but makes it back still. Yeah, damn it. He sort of had to roll on stage there. He could have uh, jumped off and back on, but Martha Uppy could have clipped him if he did, so sort of the only option he had. Okay, so up smash will do it. Okay, popping up. All right, but so looking a lot better. Like, you know, he has he's at high percent, but yeah, he is getting his first stock a lot earlier in the game. Still living. Yeah, one more F smash like that should definitely do it. But. Okay, so he does get a nice cheeky back throw, but Pisces jumps early and gets above him, so he does get back to stage. And the fair one might kill. One more fair should do it. 
Can F to no, side B, going for up air there, but good reaction there from Dayman jumping up. And here and we there's see the up B. Yeah, I liked how Pisces, he, he didn't hit it, but he went for an F tilt at the edge. I think F tilt is such an underutilized move uh, for most mid level Marth, so. Yeah, especially um, against a character like Puff, who often will kind of stall around, you yeah. know, and kind of sweep her way in. Yeah, really um, like safe move, not too much to punish off it, so. And for Marth, you know, that's one of his lingering moves yeah. as far as they go. Because he doesn't really have any hitboxes that stay out for a while, so. Yeah, but F tilt at least covers a lot of space. dogs. Getting so many fares, but. Okay, wow. Oh my god, no one hit each other there. That was an awesome. Oh. Okay, so he does go for the nair. I don't know if he fast fell that nair, though. I think he would have uh, gotten if he did, but he does go for a half smash, but Pisces is ready for it. Damien laughing that one off. He, I think he knew that half smash wasn't the best. But he does get one there. So honestly, we haven't seen a rest yet. Uh, just uh, two misses, but a uh, rest could do it. Yeah, and that's always one thing that's scary in this matchup is if you can get edge guards. That's one thing that, like, Pisces has been since he's been playing so well about his recovery that he hasn't really been get set up for rest, but the pop-up there was super terrifying for Pisces, but Dayman not being able to find the right hit and the right follow-up. Oh, the Nair barely clipping him during the F-Smash animation. So really yeah. lucky for Dayman there. Dayman finding another trade with the side B, but eventually gets put off. Pisces looking to close this out with the F-Smash. Okay, so he does get back to Legend C. He does go high again, so I wonder if Dayman's going to start up airing right after... Uh, Pisces gets the ledge a bit more. It has been working out. Yeah, and uh, Pisces there tried to air dodge the platform on the top platform, but got it. caught before the invincibility came out. Oh, and he ends that early. What a setup, man. Oh, I was going to talk about Demon. I was hoping that he would get a rest setup because 